I thought today we'd talk a little bit about my top tips that I've learned along the way over the past two years, two plus years, on WWs. So for those of you who are new here, I'm glad you're here. My name's Barrett. I have lost 40 pounds on the WW Freestyle Plan. And I'm now on WW Blue because I have a YouTube channel and because I was very close to goal. I went ahead and tried WW Purple and that went okay, but I did that through the holidays. And to be honest, I put weight on 10 pounds on. <laughs> um, and I've had a lot of trouble taking that off. But the good news is I have been able to take that off and I don't blame that on purple at all. That was really just because of the holidays and I wasn't tracking, you know, really, I don't, I don't even think at this point I'd consider it dieting. I was kind of eating pretty much whatever I wanted at least once a day. If I wanted a handful of M&Ms, I'd eat them but it, maybe it wasn't a handful, okay? Maybe it was four. So that's why I put that weight on. Then I went to WW Green and what ended up happening was it was just too many points. 30 points for me, I'm gonna make bad choices. You know, if I have to count non-fat Greek yogurt and chicken breast and eggs, and those things are gonna equal the same amount as let's just say like two Oreos, you know, I made some bad choices. So that didn't work for me either. It just gave me way too much rain on what I could eat. I needed something a little bit better. So as I've said before, it's sort of like the blue plan for me is kind of like Goldilocks, you know, it fits right there. It is just right for me. There's enough restriction and boundaries that I don't go crazy but it's not so tight that I can't, you know, I can't live. And as I was telling you guys, I had put that 10 pounds on. I'm only 5'4", so 10 pounds really shows up for me. You know, I'm gonna be 52 next week. Your body changes as you get a little bit older, and I don't know about you guys, but I personally carry my weight around the middle, the very first place is going to be in the middle when I'm putting any weight on. I mean, I almost feel like I can eat a bowl of cereal and, and an extra roll shows up. But you guys know what I'm talking about. It's actually real. It happens. So I, 10 pounds to me is a lot and I had to get that weight off. And the only way for me to do that, that I, you know, I know my body by now. Like I said, I'm almost 52. I know what works and I know what doesn't work for me. So what I'm doing now is I've implemented my 23 smart points on blue with 33 net carbs and I track those net carbs on carb manager. So I keep, I have to keep my carbs below 33 net carbs in order to continue losing. Otherwise, will I put weight on? No, but I will maintain. Anyway, I tell you all of that just to give you an idea so that you know with these tips that I'm giving you, there are things that I definitely have tried out on myself. I'm not just kind of throwing it out there. I've gained weight, I've lost weight. So hopefully these will all apply to you as well. So my first tip is, and this might sound basic to some of you, but maybe it won't. And so I'm speaking to everyone you have to be willing to tell yourself no. That is such a big one for me. And I forget about that when I'm craving something. So you have to be willing to know that yes, there are double stuff Oreos in your pantry way in the back that you have there for your grandkids. And yes, you are sugar craving, but guess what? No, you're not gonna eat them. You're going to go eat something else. You're going to talk yourself into eating something else if you're actually hungry. And if you're not, you need to just move on and find something else to do. This has really become a reality for me lately as I watch my husband, Kevin. If you guys watch my channel, you know he's he lost a lot of weight. He lost 70 or 80 pounds 
and he put it all back on. And now he's trying to re-lose that weight. And now that he's a couple years older, it's hard for him to do. And you know what I know is his big problem? He just won't tell himself no. He won't do it. And, and it's a habit that we all get into um, in life, in many things, in many choices that we make. Sometimes you just have to be a little bit strict with yourself. Number two, be willing to make swaps. You have to. You have to be a person that can say, okay, I know that I've tried light cheese before, but I'm gonna get used to it. Maybe I'm not gonna go all the way to fat-free cheese. I don't, you guys, I don't eat fat-free cheese. I would rather have, except cream cheese, that one I don't mind. But fat-free cheddar, you know, the sprinkle cheese to me tastes like nothing. It tastes like, I don't even know, plastic. It has no flavor to me. So I'd rather have nothing like if I was gonna put that cheese on salad, I'd rather just not have any. Find things that work for you. I found a light cheese, and by the way, it's called, it's Cabot, C-A-B-O-T. If you have it in your store, it's really expensive to buy online. It's my favorite, but their shipping is high. Um, so there's resources for it, but it is expensive. But another one that's really good is Trader Joe's light cheese. It's it's wonderful. It's very low in points and you will not miss the fat. So you have to have things you're willing to try. It took me more than a year to be okay with PB2. I just wasn't, I wasn't going to do it. I was going to eat the regular peanut butter. And you know what? That worked for me all the way up to about 30 pounds. Then at 30 pounds, when I tried to do the regular peanut butter, it stopped working. It was the only thing that I kind of felt like, you know, is this really two tablespoons or is this more like a really a heaping tablespoon and I'm kind of cheating and, you know, maybe I, I did do the two tablespoons, but I put one in my mouth. You got, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. My third tip, this one also has been hard for me and it is a work in progress for me. Be realistic with yourself. There is a number that your body is gonna be okay weighing and a number that it won't get to. Or as I always say, you kinda, you know when you were a little kid and you jump down and you try to make your toe touch the bottom of the 12 foot deep into the pool and then you pop right back up. That's sort of where I'm kind of having a talk with myself right now on this as well. My goal of where I want to be in terms of weight might be unrealistic for me now at almost 52 years old. Um, you know, I did move the goalposts myself. I had a weight that I was going to be fine with. I'm at that weight right now, which is 147. But I wanted to get to 130. And you know what the reality of it is? I don't think my body will do that. I have gotten to 135 for five minutes. Like literally, I'm telling you, a half a day I was at that number. I just don't think my body is willing to go there. That number for you might be 200 pounds. That number for you might be 150. I don't know what that number is for you, but your body will tell you. Because you know what will happen? You'll be... You'll be in a plateau, you'll be doing everything right, and your body just will not move. And your friends and family will be saying, you look great, you look wonderful. Everybody's body is a little bit different and we all carry weight differently. I have seen people that weigh 10 pounds more than me that are the same height and I, they look wonderful. They, I idolize their bodies, I think they look great. But me, there's a certain number that I have to get to to have a similar shape as them. You guys know what I'm talking about. As much as we don't want to look at another person and say, I want to look like them, I think that's okay to look at somebody and say they look great. I think that's great. I think that's woman power to look at another woman and say, wow, she looks awesome. But you have to put it into what you can carry. And then number four, my last sort of tip is, you know, you have to realize that you're going to have weeks and you might even have months where you don't lose. Or you do the little dreaded bounce that we all talk about. Down point two, up point four, down point one, 
you know what I'm talking about. I know people because of having a YouTube channel and having a Facebook group, we all interact a lot. Many of us have been in that position, some of us for a year or more, it does happen. There are things that play a part in your body that you just can't do anything about. You know, with women hormones, I think that happens that you just hold weight sometimes. And other times you have to really not just look at, you know, you guys, a lot of times like in my Facebook group, people will say things like, because like what I just explained in the beginning, I have added in low carb to get things moving a little bit more because that works for my body. But there are people that will say, well, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't have to do that. You should just work the program, stay the course, and that's what you're going to lose. Well, now, does that make any sense? <laughs> it doesn't to me. If you need to make some little, that's why we call it my WW now. If you need to make little changes here and there that work for your body, you should absolutely do that. If that helps you lose weight, that is what you should do if it works for you. So I hope you found that helpful. Those are the four things that really stick out in my mind as, as things that I've had to really remind myself of along the way through this, this diet journey that I'm on. And it, it is a lifestyle. It is sort of, you know, when I say diet, I mean what we eat. What you eat is a diet. So I plan to be on some sort of restricted plan, being conscious of what I'm eating for the rest of my life, because if I don't, I will put the weight back on. So anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please subscribe, and I'd love to hear from you down in the comments.